Did you know that you can use plastic bottles to make your own vertical garden and start growing food no matter the space available? And this is a super cool and fun way to start growing your own food, especially for beginners, without making things overcomplicated. You basically can build this in different versions. I did it for many spaces and it takes up such a minimal space that you can fit it in perfectly, even in an urban garden like my backyard, eight by five meters. And it requires just a minimal amount of water to irrigate the whole system, which is just great. Let's dig in straight into the video. And I'm gonna show you step by step how to do your own vertical garden. And if you stay till the end, I'm gonna share an extra tip to have an unlimited amount of strawberry plants. <laughs> you will need a few different materials, which I will list in the description to make it easier. The first thing you will need is your plastic bottle. Make sure to check if it's HDPE2, which is the safest plastic to use, and keep your cups, as we will use them later in the video, to build a vertical garden. I used six 5 liter plastic bottles for this system. Well, you can use more or less depending on what you need. Now use a sharpie and mark a square in the lower section of your bottles. Try to keep things simple, just mark the square roughly 18 by 12 centimeters, leaving 5 centimeter gap from the bottom of your bottles. Repeat the same process with the rest of your bottles, making sure to keep roughly the same measurement. The next step is to use your 35mm wood drill bit and drill a hole at the bottom of four bottles, making sure to keep two on side without drilling any hole at the bottom. This will be the junction hole between all your bottles. It's time to prepare your waterproof paint and apply it on the neck of your bottles. You could sand and apply the paint, but we are keeping things simple and you could always repaint it later if required. There is a reason why I'm using white paint, because it protects the roots from sunlight, but at the same time it repels heat, which is really important for healthy plants. Once all your bottles are painted up, you can start preparing your cups while the paint is drying. You will need a hammer and any size of nails, and a piece of cork or any material so you don't risk to damage your surfaces. Poke as many holes as possible in your bottle cup and repeat the same process for all of them. This will be the drainage for your bottles. The next step is to try and assemble your vertical garden. So if you notice that the bottle don't fit through the hole that you drilled before at the bottom, like in this case, what you can do is to grab a cutter and enlarge the opening in a way that then the bottle will fit through. Once the bottles fit, proceed to stack three bottles on two separate towers. You could also make the system longer or wider, including stacking only two bottles in a bigger vertical garden, like my DIY herb garden in my backyard. You can now use a sharp cutter to cut along the markings you previously did using your Sharpie to remove the plastic square and leave an opening on the side of each bottle. The reason why I wait to cut them is so they are more sturdy and easy to stack up. Screw in your bottle caps, which will help to keep the bottles in place and drain the water to the lower bottles in a sort of drip irrigation system. Now that you have your bottles ready, we can move into the garden and start making our compost mix. I decided to use the side of one of the raised beds with a trellis I built in another video. I will leave the link in the left upper corner in case you want to build the same thing. I use an expandable trellis, but you could also fix the vertical garden directly on your fence or any other surface. So this is where we decided to hang our vertical garden. Now we're gonna use some screws and fix the expandable trellis to the frame. Make sure to use thin wooden screws to avoid splitting the wood. The next step is to make sure that all the openings in your vertical garden are facing you and are aligned because the plants will grow outwards. You can now load up your stapler, place the first tower bottle on the trellis and staple inside the bottle to secure them in place. The reason why I left some space in between the two rows of bottles 
is because just in case if we change our mind and we want to fill in with more rows, we can still do it at any time. Next up is your compost mix. I use a 25 liter bucket to prepare my mix, adding around 50% of the bucket with well rotted mushroom compost, which is full of microbial life and fungi. So this is my worm farm. I found it in the street. I literally cleaned it up, added food scraps on the top layer, worms on the mid layer and now I have an unlimited supply of fertilizer for my garden and it's a great system because you reduce your waste but at the same time you make something valuable to reuse into your garden. I'm gonna add around 30-40% of warm casting to my mix. It's such a powerful organic fertilizer providing all the nutrients for my plants. I also mix 20% of vermiculite or perlite to improve drainage. If you can't make this mix, store bolt just works great. So before adding your compost to the bottles, I tend to add a few centimeters of vermiculite to have a better drainage and make sure that the water drains to the lower bottles. If you don't have vermiculite, don't worry, use what's available, like clay pebbles, or small rocks, or anything similar. Add a few scoops of compost mix, your strawberry plants, or any plants you decided to use, and top up with more compost, leaving around one inch of space gap for your mulch. The last thing to add is mulch, in this case I'm using straw and it helps to retain moisture, so you have to water way less your vertical garden. This step is completely optional, but I highly recommend to do it, not only for moisture retention, but to protect the microorganisms. So that's it, all you need to water is the top layer, and the water will drip down and irrigate all the other layers. You can also place some pots at the bottom to save the water dripping down. Here we go. Uh, strawberries in recycled container, super easy to make, uh, literally it took probably a couple of hours to do all of them. What we do, I don't know if I can find one, I use old muslin or uh, fleece that I have from last year. I basically add a bit of soil, close around the runners, which are the shots that the plant try to uh, shoot out at the end of the season to reproduce itself without even watering because they're taking the water from the mother plant They're gonna produce roots just because they're in contact with the soil and whenever they're ready I just snip it off here and Down here and we got a new strawberry plant once you have your new strawberry plant You can just pot it up in small pots Wait until the roots come out of the bottom and then the plant will be ready to be transplanted outdoor and doing so, you have an unlimited supply of strawberry plants. I hope you liked today's video. And if so, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next week for a new project. Thank you so much for watching.